loves, it's your girl April. This video today is an RPG show unit and this is the the Hair Icon 005. Now this one here is 20 inches, it's silky and the color that they sent me was really kind of orange. It wasn't like blonde at all, it was orange. So I had to tame it. The color didn't look anything like the picture, um, but I did tame the color by toning it and I went ahead and curled it and this is the look of it. It's a lace front construction, it's glueless and it does have a stretch cap to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the, um clips out of these because I put these in so that way the curls wouldn't drop. Okay guys, let's get this going. So as you guys can see, this is a lace front with a whole lot of parting space. I think it's about six inches of parting and a pre-plugged hairline. Three combs in the front, or two combs in the front and a comb and an adjustable strap in the nape. Like I said, this is a pre-plugged hairline. So listen, with RPG Show's pre-plugged hairline, honestly, all I ever do is just sit them right on my hairline. I don't have to do anything. It kind of like melts right into your hair your skin your scalp like for real I just add a little bit of my concealer to the part so that way it just looks a little bit more natural you don't see like my wig cap but I think like for the most part the hair color came out so pretty I really wish that I would have went ahead and recorded a before or after or just better yet even at least took a picture for you guys so you could see but I, I was in such a rush I was trying to get this hair done for a certain event and unfortunately I didn't get it done in time but yes it came out really pretty the color is like this very pretty like honey blonde strawberry honey blonde you know it's just like a gorgeous color it's not brassy but I do I do honestly like it it is a lot of density um, for the wig um, I did ask for more density because you guys know I love my wigs to be really full and for the most part they did like an amazing job on the cut the style the hairline like the only downfall was the color but you know it's an easy fix but I seriously do like the hairline of this unit like seriously um, I have several units of theirs and the hairlines have improved so much over the years so I give it to RPG show for this wig right here okay you guys so hands down I mean I think I made it look a lot better or not a lot but I did hook it up because let me tell you when I got it it was very brassy orange um and I'm, I thought I was bugging out so I just asked my daughter Tati and she was like that's real orange um brassy then I took it to Sally's beauty supply store just to pick out my toner and even the girl that worked it was like that is very brassy you're not gonna be able to tone that you're going to have to re-bleach it and I just looked at her I was like I'm not about to re-bleach this and I don't have to re-bleach it because toner is going to work so I got my Wella toner. I used two bottles of the T18, which is the highest, strongest formula. It gives you like that pale ash blonde. And this is the results. I've done this a million times, so I'm pretty sure I knew what I was doing. I wasn't about to bleach it. So once I toned it, I toned it dry and I used only 20 developer. Um, I just don't like to tone it while it's wet shampoo because I just really don't think it works. Though I've done a couple of wigs like that and it did come out okay. But they were already toned. But, you know, over time, the toning goes, you know, it just washes out. So you have to retone it again. So that's what I had to do when I did that while it was wet. So for this one, I more or less toned it while it was dry. That's how I mostly do all of mine. And I only used two Wella toners and some 20 developer and that was it. And I used the entire, you know, mixture. Um, I let it sit on for like 45 minutes to an hour and this is the look it came out with. Much more tamed and toned. It doesn't give me any like brassy colors. This looks more like a honey blonde color versus what I had. Um, the ends were a little bit dry and I think it's dry um, because of the hairspray that I put in the hair and the, the styling mousse because I use it to tame the hair. Um, but it does still smell like toner a little bit. Um, I did shampoo it, but it's, it's well, a toner is really strong, so it does take several washes to get the scent out. But for the most part, I think it looks really cute right now. Um, it does have like the dark roots. The only thing that I noticed is it doesn't have dark roots like all on both sides, but um, the lace is freaking pre um, pre plucked. So I was like, yes, haunties, yes. But I really do think that they should have put the darkness over here. I'm not sure. um, this doesn't have any layers in it. So I think on the website, this is represented as it being just straight. 
and I don't really do too well with straight all the time. I do need some body in it because of just my long face and particularly with different hair colors. But yes, girls, the hair does it did came out really nice. Now I'm happy with it. I love the hairlines of these new lace front wigs that RPG has. It looks so natural. It's just sitting on my hair right now. I didn't even do anything. I think the color looks really, really good right about now. I should have took a before and after picture. Because then y'all could have seen and y'all would have been like, girl, but you know what? It is what it is. I love RPG show. They've been around for 10 years. I've been working with them for about eight years. Um, I was so happy to be hosting their 10th year anniversary meet and greet RPG Takes New York. So I was really happy about that. And I was really happy to be able to meet so many different YouTubers as well as, you know, subscribers and just friends and stuff. Things. I had a great time. I had a wonderful time and I was so happy to see one of my favorite RPG people which was Wednesday. We had like an amazing time as well as that as y'all are doing your thing. So yes you guys keep up the good work for RPGshow.com. Let me know what you think of this hair. I think it looks just so cute with this shirt like seriously um, I'm feeling kind of bougie right now. So mmm. So on that note, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up if you love me as much as I love you guys. And I will see y'all in a soon-to-come video.